Hello friends, my name is Cool Story Brobat, and welcome to episode 33 of this Pokemon Platinum No Pokemon Center Nuzlocke Challenge Run thing. And all I have to say is this, March 5th, 2013, the adventure began. Today is March 8th, 2014. The adventure still continues because I am a lazy piece of crap and I procrastinate a lot. <laughs> Yeah, that's my fault. I should have definitely had this done by now. And I guess I'm going to try to be more consistent with this. I'll let things go by the wayside too much. It's been a pretty uh, adventurous year. In fact, I'm such a lazy procrastinator. I didn't even notice that it's been a year since I started this Nuzlocke challenge, which is kind of sad and kind of funny to me at the same time. Um, If you're wondering why my voice sounds like this, your boy's a little sick today. <coughs> a little sick. Got a little cold going on, but at the same time, I feel like I'm starting to get over it. But... You know, I'm still sick. And this episode... Now, the last episode you guys saw, I recorded it the same day as the episode of the Nuzlocke before. Like, the day when I battled Crash Your Wake, I recorded that same episode that same day. But I uploaded, like, a whole month later for no reason. That's my fault. So let me shut up and stop boring you guys to death. So anyway, we're, uh... We're at the, uh... The place with all the rain, and yeah, I just adjusted my volume, my bad. We're at the place with all the rain, and uh, I did a lot of off-screen grinding. A lot of off-screen grinding. So let me just show you guys the fruits of my labor. I don't remember how many levels everybody went up, but basically, I remembered that the Versus Recorder, I mean not Versus Recorder, the Versus Seeker, is actually an available item, and I've been using that to grind. And as you can see, I'm starting to kind of feel the effects of it you know bro bat hit level 35 good for him <clears throat> and he still got most of his attacks which is good um roots i, I, I grounded up to level 30 he's got most of her attacks porygon porygon went in for real he sucked for a while but he goes in now he, he's he's a cool guy um <clears throat> postman he's almost he's pretty much out of moves for real but he learned roost bruno's holding up um is that it yeah, this whole team on this. Oh, yeah. And, um, I've been thinking I'm going to evolve Porygon at either level 35 or level 40. By evolve it, I mean hack it to evolve because, you know, you can't trade it in in a ROM, of course. You know, same thing I'm doing with Bruno. You know, once he hits level 40, he's going to evolve. And the reason why I'm going backwards is. I actually forget. Oh, yeah, I want to, um. Dang, I don't even remember. I, I, I guess I'll check on my berries. Okay, they're not fully grown yet. I'm also running kind of low on leopard berries, so I might do some planting and whatnot. And let, let me stop wasting you guys this time. I don't know what I'm doing. <coughs> let me stop wasting your time. And just get moving with episode. Bro, it's killing me, man. <coughs> um, One thing I need is a suitable HM slave to cut down those little trees. Um... Wow, found toxic sweet. That's, that's useful. Um, yeah. This chick is standing in the mud with an expensive outfit on. <clears throat> I, I don't know how I actually feel about that. I just wanted to point that out. Am I stuck in the bog? Of course not. How silly. This is a full body mud pack. If it weren't, I would be squirming and struggling to get out. Alright, whatever. Whatever suits you. Crap, now I'm stuck in it. Um, yeah, so I'm just exploring this route, because I actually have not explored this route during my off-screen grinding. I just kind of went back and forth. <coughs> uh, so what's in there? Oh, it's just a shallow scene. I'm worried about it, but I don't feel like fighting it. So, yeah, I guess this is going to be an exploring episode, kind of. Kind of. I have not forgotten, I do have to go to Route 215 to uh, break up the Occupy Psyduck movement. <coughs> I have not forgotten that yet. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh I wasn't stuck in it, now I am. Um, wait. If you get stuck in the bog, you can count on being there a while. There's no need to panic, just struggle and squirm for a bit. Bicycles cannot be ridden on marshy ground, incidentally. Which is good, because that would suck. 
I thought, I, I thought there was another like little pathway over here or something. I'm just wasting more time. Lots of it. Uh, I need cut to get through here, seriously? I'm debating if I'm allowed to take uh, Tortilla out the PC just to use cut. I mean, I'm not battling with him or anything. I just wanna... I just gotta use him as an HM. Like, like I'm using the ghost of Tortilla to cut down trees. <clears throat> and I was not expecting that to be a trainer. Their Pokemon to grow stronger when it's raining. That's awesome. That's obviously one of them. It has Swift Swim. I do not want to go up against the Swift Swim Goldie. <coughs> I guess I'll just go to Bird Bat. Let's chop this thing down real quick. Not much to worry about here. Your parasol will get dirty in the rain? Isn't that what it's for? Uh, whatever. <clears throat> Shards wanted. Pokemon moves taught. Oh yeah, there's move tutors that, you know, accept shards to teach moves. This could be extremely useful. <coughs> I'm sorry about all the snorting, man. I hate being sick. I swear I do. Dive is a tutor move? Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming at all. Oh yeah, knockoff. It was such a good move in Gen 6, but it sucked before that. Uh um hmm. So who collects shorts here? You know what can I you know what can I teach? Like what if I wanted to teach Bruno something? Oh, sucker punch, that is useful. But I don't have enough shards because I suck. <clears throat> oh, you find them in the underground. Okay, okay, I mess with that. I know in the uh, the marsh, the Great Marsh, there's a person who gives you one shard a day. Can't you see him fishing? Don't talk. You'll spook the fish. He is a freaking Gyarados. Top shelf. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm not standing on that. It's gonna go to bro bat. <laughs> that actually hurt. Twister still hits you while you're flying. Crap. Nice. Bro bat, this is not the time to be almost dying. <coughs> I mean, you know, I'm the one who's dying here, but I mean, sheesh. This Gyarados, man. Who invented you, man? Why are you? What do I strive for? Why do I have to fight this thing? Okay, let's let's get into it. I not for it. Well, bite is gonna hurt next. Hurt a lot. All right, let's keep it moving, I guess. That reminds me, I can also fish on a route. I kind of forgot that in a couple of previous episodes. I should have saved it for this one. Like, instead of wasting my encounter on the quest side, but... What the heck? <clears throat> Man, everybody here is abusing rain to their advantage. This ain't even fair. Well, I don't really care that much about it, but... Sheesh. <coughs> I'll just, uh... Make my move. Can't wait till it's been barrel and stuff, man. This is. Ugh. Barbook. You know, I actually do like Barbook a lot. This Cash is such a cool guy. He's a cool Pokemon. Let's 
Dude, Barbara's just getting slayed, though. No, I don't have the energy to say, GET SLAYED! I don't have that energy today. It's not in me. Come on. Come on, Roots. Come on, Root Beer. You're killing me. You're killing me. You're almost dead. But you're killing me anyway. I'm gonna have to shop for some more super potions. The goings, the outing is already getting worse than I thought it would be. And I'm like halfway through this episode and I've barely accomplished anything. Okay, keep it moving. Oh my god, no Gyarados. Ugh, man, if I had, if I had Shockwave, if I had any power points left in Shockwave on Porygon too, I would definitely, Porygon, I bet, I'd definitely be using them. <coughs> Oh, this one's only level 26. It's not that. Not as bad as the other one. Wait. Oh, God. Man, I hate Dragon Rage. Why does it have to have Dragon Rage? This is like a fixed 40 damage. At least it can't get critical. If it did, I'd be in the creek. Stop spamming Dragon Rage, you senseless jerk. Hey. I can't really fight this thing. There you go, yeah. Use a move that won't kill me. <clears throat> Let me just fly up. Alright, there's that. Ugh, man. Collector. Let me get myself together here. Hmm. I don't even know who I want to level up, man. I was probably too. So. <coughs> Umbreon, that's pretty weird. Sand attack, that's pretty annoying and stupid. Uh, I'll just use roll out. Even though I just got hit with a sand attack. Because I'm weird like that. This pursuit is actually starting to hurt. So is this rollout? It's Espeon. I'm debating if I want to take the risk. I don't want to take the risk. <clears throat> now you know what I'm taking the risk. Oh yeah, the risk was not worth it. I missed. Why did, why did you miss? Come on, Roots. That thing would have been smashed. You just smashed it. Man, my commentary sucks when I'm sick. I'm not gonna lie. I, I can feel it. <sighs> we're, we're getting into those type of games now, are we? Really? You better pray I don't hit. Okay, I should switch out now. This isn't this is not fair. This is stupid. Ugh. Got a post, man. <laughs> Look at that. Keen eye prevents accuracy loss. Get slayed. Confusion hurts a lot. I'm gonna kill you with quick attack. Because I believe in it. See, that's what happens when you believe. Alright, let's keep it going. <laughs> yeah, cool story. If you want a Pokedex so bad, go to Professor Rowan, like everybody else. <coughs> <coughs> okay, uh, let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna put Brobat up front. So, I have to use my bike to get across here? Okay, then, fine. I don't think anybody realizes how hazardous this could be in real life. Like riding across a thin plank on a bicycle over a lake. I don't think anybody notices how scary that could actually be. Then again, no one cares. It's Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, uh. Ooh. 
police officer. Well, if you're on a constant, why are you on a patrol in like the least? That's why I hate police sometimes, man. They crow gunk. Oh my god, it's a crow gunk! And I can't even catch it! I can't even catch it! Oh, I'm salty. Because I already wasted my counter on Quagsire. I say wasted because it was, it was a Quagsire and I didn't want it. Hey, screw you, you jerk! Speak to the devil and he will appear. Well, get away from me, man. I don't like you. No offense to Quagsire. He's cool. I like all ground types. But, dang, man, I wanted a crow to go so badly. Look at him, he's just so freaking cool. Alright. I find it reassuring to be on this damn soil. Damn, bro. I'm not playing with this thing. X defense. Oh, crap. I still almost killed him. That's funny. That was useless. This dude is weird. Get away from him. Wait, there's grass right here? Really? Oh, weasel. Nah. I got enough water types on this on my team right now. So I'm good. Come on, right there. <coughs> Full heal, that's useful. Alright, just keep going. Keep going. Oh, blue short. Also useful. I should definitely go underground someday. Because then I could also revive a fossil and use that. Yeah. I almost forgot about that. I'm gonna randomly do it one of these episodes too. You're gonna, you're not gonna know which one. It's just gonna happen. Like, I'm just gonna be underground. You're gonna be like, holy crap, holy crap, what's bro back? Where's he at? And you're like, oh, oh. All right, Bruno and Bro Bat, you guys have been carrying the team along your back since Tortilla left, so you guys get the honors of facing these two trainers. Protect the natural environment. That's what we Rangers do. Hey, trainer, are you being good to Mother Nature? Uh. Yeah, this dude's. Come on, Inferno. That person is a starter, what the heck? I don't like the fact that they have a Meryl either, but I'm pretty sure Bruno outspeeds this thing and just murders it. I mean, come on, it's Bruno. Fate. <laughs> Wait, it only works if you use Protect? Seriously? No, the move faints. It's a it's a it's a priority move, but it takes away the effects of protect and detent. And they buffed it in Gen 5 to make it so that it always hits, but it just takes away protect and detect and then it But still, I, like in Gen 4, I guess it only worked if you let me shut up. No one even cares what I'm talking about. <laughs> no one cares. God, I'm gonna bro, 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 bro. Okay, I oh, took that. I never saw a rock type take a razor leaf that nicely. Good job, Bruno. <coughs> That's my fault for staying in with it, really. I'm about to come back here with all these cut trees, because I don't want to waste a moose slot on my bed. But <coughs> 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 barrel. <coughs> Alright. Man. I messed up everything. The items in the bag can be reckon reorganized by pressing select. Wow, I totally knew that already. Uh. Uh. Robat's about to level up, so I guess I'll I'll try to cut back to making my episodes 20 minutes again. And you think I didn't see that Pokeball behind that sign? I'm good. I'm good. So I'm gonna finish this episode by leveling up Robat. Before I, you know, hop on to the next one. Oh, is Elliot? Is this a different route? Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, dude. Uh, 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 uh. Think. Well, who cares about thinking? No one cares. No one really cares. I think it's the same route. Wait, no, the music changed. The music changed. So that means it's not a, the same route. It's a different run. Oh, I could have had a Roselia. Crap! I just I just blew that opportunity. 
But well, oh, oh wait, Brobat's evolving. Holy crap! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's finally happened. The moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, this is glorious. This is glorious. Brobat is officially a Brobat now. And I, and I could have cut a Roselli. I kind of wanted one too. Where am I at? This is our Route 212. So why'd the music change? <clears throat> so, well, I guess I'm not in trouble then. Where, what? What is this? Hold up, man. Wait. Pokemon. Man. Oh. Okay. But yeah. So wow. We got a bro bed now. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, I guess the whole reason why I wasn't caught so off guard was because when I was off screen grinding and I bumped him up to level 35, he tried to evolve. But I'm like, oh no, I gotta catch this on screen. And my ability to fake the enthusiasm was muddled by my sickness. So, yeah, there's that, I guess. But who, who freaking gives a crap? We got a bro bat now. We're official. We're officially in the game. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and favorite. I'll, uh,. I guess I'm gonna try to record two episodes in one day again. Give them the old two for one, because everybody loves those. <clears throat> anyway, take care and peace.